This restaurant named Thai food near me. Oh, and it's right there. Incredibly local. My prescription bottle uses the law and order font. <laughs> Push down and turn. Dung dung. Take your pills. My new bra has hands built inside the cups. It's for support. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> That's super funny. Bees on a plane. Oh, damn. No, they're hoarding that thing. That's a crazy amount too. The plane doesn't look abandoned or anything. Why are they all hoarding that plane? Two random yet almost identical boomers. Oh my God. Same almost identical shirt. Both balding. Both with a beard. Oh my God. It's like Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase. This car is full of bumper stickers that say bumper sticker. Oh, dude. Yeah, check it out. We got a honk if you love bumper stickers. Bumper sticker. I heart bumper stickers. Don't tread on bumper stickers. Bumper sticker. And then the cross out license plate. Peace and bumper stickers. Bumper sticker road. <laughs> nice bumper stickers. Groovy bumper stickers, man. This guy loves his bumper stickers. Bubbles in my coffee this morning. Did it make a shape? Ooh. Ooh. Actually, that looks really cool. That was a hell of a lot of bubbles on it. That's what's up. Perfectly circular connecting burnout in my neighborhood. Someone did a perfect uh, little donut. They did a perfect donut. You don't see that often. My cat has double canines, a condition known as retained deciduous teeth. Yeah, that's what's up. As long as it's not causing him any pain, right? But hey, your cat's got a little quirk. My friend's cat got shaved at the vet. Now she looks like a game of exquisite corpse. <laughs> I've never played Ex Exquisite Corpse. What is this? It's a game where people take turns writing or drawing on a sheet of paper. Oh, that's fun. I could see that. That's hell yeah, dude. But why Why was the cat shaved like that? Was there something going on? That's a long ass cat. That cat's longer than I expected them to be. That That's that's, that's a, a lengthy cat. This parking line painted over a crab. Why was the crab there in the first place for a parking line to be painted over? That's what I want to know. How did the crab find itself in this position? And why didn't someone move the crab out of the way? Why did they paint over the crab? <laughs> A lot of questions I have. What a 38 year difference looks like between the Dodge 3500. Woo! You know, cars look used to look a lot cooler, man. But now we just have to have big logos on them. Everything's gonna have a big logo on it nowadays. Instead of killing grass, my dog pees to make it grow greener. Well, your dog's for the environment. Your dog's a bit of an environmentalist, you know? Dog's a bit of that, you know, uh, not a green thumb, but a green paw, you know? The hotel I'm at changes the elevator mats throughout the day. Gonna keep it fresh. I actually really like that. I. I I think that's dope. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I think that's sick. I really like that. That's a cool hotel. My husband has brown eyes and I have blue. These are our four children's eyes. Oh, wow. It like progressively gets bluer, huh? Yeah, the, the kid with the bluest eyes has got a, uh, it's got like an eldritch frost power or something. They, they control ice for sure. Fanta in Italy has no dyes or artificial flavors. So is it just, oh, almost looks like a, like a cantaloupe or grapefruit soda. You know, I would try it. Looks like it's tasty. Probably tastes exactly how I expect it to, you know? Neighbors letting the neighborhood weigh in on their house color. Hey neighbors, thanks for your patience. Which color do you like? Vote here. Oh, that's dope. The majority of them like this color and say it's a good idea. That's really sick. The whole neighborhood place in votes. I, I, if, when, I buy, when I buy a house, I'm gonna do this. So I ask my neighbors for to take a poll. Starbucks policy, upcharging for no ice. What? Starting on May 9th, Starbucks will begin to upcharge for no water, no ice, and light ice in the Starbucks refresher beverages at all of their locations. Thank you for reading. Are they saying like, because if you're trying to get more of the refresher in your drink that they have to charge more, they're trying, but they're probably charging more for like the flavor they put in or something. If I had to guess, I don't know. I flew over some lakes that look like a man walking as llama. Well, you know, it's his pet llama, you know, pet llama lake, man lake and pet llama lake. That's what they're called. That's if you look at a map, that's what they're called. This group of colorful humans waiting for a train in Montreal. I remember seeing this and I talked about this in one of the last videos. I think it was a model interesting as well. This is a super dope art project. They did this a bunch and I think these guys are awesome. I like these guys. My husband got me a bouquet of mushrooms for Mother's Day. Aw, look at all those different kinds. That's sweet. Does she like mushrooms? Or did he get them because he thinks he's a fun guy? <laughs> My clothing pegs explode when used. <laughs> Is the spring really tense? I don't know why they're exploding like that. My local pizza hasn't changed since the 80s. Oh, dude, looks like how it should. It's got memory. Oh, oh, that's a piece of my heart. 
I wasn't born in the 80s, obviously, but I remember when Pizza Hut still looked like this. Oh, oh, that takes me back. That made me happy. But Professor and I accidentally wore inverted outfits. Oh, dude, look, look at this. Teachers, dude, they're, they're so jazzed about it. <laughs> That's really funny. A rabies vaccine that is airdropped in the woods for Aunt Coons to eat. Oh, whoa, that's sick. I didn't know they actually did that. Every year, the USDA drops millions of oral rabies vaccines across 14 states, mostly along the Eastern seaboard. A chunk of my red hair from when I was 16 to my faded with time hair now that I'm 27. Oh, wow, yeah. Much more fiery red back then, but now, why? how is it still that red? I, I don't know how hair ages, so maybe I'm, I'm not educated on this, but it, it's just ripped out of time, dude. The difference in my hands before and after a 130 pound weight loss. Yep, I'm starting to notice this. Okay, so for those who don't know, I'm sure you know, uh, I'm a big guy. Uh, I've been on a process of losing weight and in my face, in my hands, in my ankles especially is where I really notice a lot of changing. Um, so far, I've lost like 35-ish pounds. If I had to, to like wager a guess, I might be a little off. That being said, y'all ain't ready for the cut, all right? Because I won't shut up about it. I boiled down five gallons of seawater and this is all the salt. Whoa, yeah, you got plenty. You got so much to last for a while, dude. Hell yeah. Fresh sea salt. I had a tendon transplant in my finger and they're using a button sewn through my fingernail to hold the tendon in place while it heals. That's interesting. I didn't even know that's something that they would do. I would be scared that I would accidentally ruin this. You know what I mean? I would be, I'd be in, like really scared of ruining the, the ten, like the healing process. I would be, I would want this finger casted or something. Found a tiny banana. Whoa, just a little guy. Just a little itty bitty thing. Bet it's tasty. All the flavor of a regular banana and one bite sized banana. It's just, just a little bite, you know, like a pizza roll. <laughs> All the flavor of a pizza and one bite sized package. It's how I eat my food in bite sized packages. This frog, toad, jumped in my campfire and got carbonized overnight. Oh no. Oh no. Guessing the coals were like 400 to 700 degrees. That's intense. He's, he's just charcoal now. Amsterdam has unirals out in the open on this public street and windows. I like that each one has a window so you can stare into something you, know, you can look into the life of someone else. It's fun. Nurse used an infrared vein finder today to place an IV. I've seen these before. These are honestly really fascinating. It makes sense that they exist, but it being able to trace where your nerves are, I think that's such a helpful tool. I really like that. My rubber watch strap disintegrated after seven years in storage. It's now just dust, gone, reduced to atoms. My all black cat had five all white kittens. Oh, look, they're just hanging out. They haven't uh, become evil yet, so they're not, they're not black like their heart and soul. That's how cats turn black. It's the evil. It's the evil in their heart. Jay before its wings kicked in. <laughs> oh no. It's, it's about to take off though. Don't you worry. You gotta make sure you catch it. Wonky wheels. If your trolley has a mind of its own, please stick a tag on it. Please repair me. So that way we know. I'm at the New York City Macy's and the escalator is made out of wood. I've been here and it is and it's sick. It's really dope to see honestly. Zigzagged bricks make a zigzagged shadow. Makes everything seem all wibbly wobbly warpy. I'd like to see a person shadow up against that though. I think that'd be fun to look at. My library is displaying an archive from our local newspaper predicting a new high schooler in town. Taylor Swift will rise to stardom. On the way to stardom, the help of her cat, Indy, recent Hendersonville resident Taylor Swift practices for a performance at the U.S. Army All-American Bowl in San Antonio, Texas this weekend. Swift, 15, moved to Hendersonville last April to pursue a country music singing and songwriting career. HHS student moves to town to advance her music career. Oh, this is it. Let's see this article. That's actually really fascinating. As a six-year-old growing up in the small Pennsylvania town of Wyoming, Wyoming, the f it's a crazy ass town. Taylor Swift often mimicked the moves of her teen idol, Leanne Rimes. As she grew, Swift's fascination with country music also blossomed, inspiring her to write a slew of songs, take professional voice lessons, and learn to play the guitar. And now, at the tender age of 15, her passion has brought her to Hendersonville, and some believe the verge of stardom. Swift, who moved to Hendersonville with her family last April to pursue her career in the country music industry, comes with an already impressive resume and at least one big name behind her. Oh, who's that? Her list of accomplishments accomplishments include singing the national anthem at the U.S. Open in 2003, performing at the Bluebird Cafe, and being featured in a national advertising campaign for Abercrombie & Fitch. She was also featured recently on Good Morning America, and a song she penned included on a CD compilation for Maybelline. Swift will perform this weekend at the opening ceremony of the U.S. Army All-American Bowl in San Antonio, Texas. Perhaps one of the biggest indications of just how high her star could rise is who her manager is. The name may not ring a bell, but the name of his uh, one other client surely will. Brittany Spears. But before you think mega manager Dan Dimtrow plans to do it again with Swift, think, and then we, we won't know how the rest
rest of that goes. But that's interesting. It must be kind of cool as a town to be like, yeah, we have a celebrity that that blossomed their career here. That's 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 an interesting thing to have bragging rights up. 